Okay, so today I'm going to work on a little a refinement of the render graph again. Specifically, what is going to be happening is... Okay, first of all, new branch. I want to get rid of the render graph job and I'm going to change up how this is created. The render graph resource being spat out by the render graph job. Because if I go find a render graph job itself, or actually the source, what is happening, right? When I'm returning the resources, the resource that um, are being output by this thing so we have let's say the source image and destination image we have the two things we have bit job resources so we have the source and destination after the, being used here they are just being that resources out and the resource state being added on to it now, I'm pretty sure inside of here, I don't actually do much with it, right? It just becomes here. The resource out per whatever is the, the resource data that was brought in and the job that was also brought in from here. So I don't, like, this is kind of a waste. This is, a, this is just, this is just a terrible waste. So I'll just get rid of this because what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to put it back onto the user or the caller. So instead of this, it'll be, you know, um, so we won't have resources out. Won't do that. And it'll just become, do -do. we have like the P provider equals the P job resource data equals the source image dot data and then equals the state that we are we have here that's it that makes a lot more sense than having to have that extra like output of the render graph job Especially since, in the case of, let's say, exporting an image. I just have this, right? I don't actually give this back to the user. I just, it just gets consumed into a black hole. I, I just, like, there's no point. There is no point. That makes a lot more sense. And if I have resources to send back out, then I do this in the caller makes more logical sense to my mind rather than having a mystery happening in their undergraph ad job yeah okay so let's grab this out again p job destination image and this rip those out all right, so this goes away. Mm -hmm. So that was a blit job. This is still coming out from here. Mm -hmm. That import image. Oh, I actually just do it automatically here already. So I just don't have anything there. Okay. Yeah. Resolve image that comes that it 
another location down here somewhere. Right? Yeah. Equals what? Render target data. One more should be down in. Oh no, two more. One in OpenXR, one in Spring Up Application. being passed through new state equals that we got rid of that uh, resources in that's still good make sure that works I wonder if this is statically or dynamically built. Oh, dynamic, SO. Okay. Oops, nothing's going to break. Oh, I have XR on, don't I? Or do I? I don't have Steam VR on. I got to turn that on real quick. Okay, so now SteamVR is on. Now we can actually test this properly. Uh, yeah. Can't do that. Yes, it's on SteamVR. That's great with a whole bunch of that stuff. So we're still good on that. Whoop. Let's make sure if I move around, yeah. Okay, so it makes a little bit more sense when you're doing that. Make sure it doesn't look too terrible. Move that, move that and that, simplifying this a little bit. Now render graph relationships, added, added, added. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so that 
thing render graph. Adding Okay, um, do you see while adding render graph jobs the function would return input? Thing it did was to passed in. Rather, it makes more sense to handled it intends. at all okay close all that we'll go back into render graph next render graph mm hmm Render graph job. This I do not think should really be publicly available. Like, there's not really any any reason for this to be outside, right? I don't use it for anything right now, and I don't think having like the required or the processed values is really all that important, or not not important. Um, the word I'm looking for is, I don't want it to be mutable outside of, let's say, the actual render graph itself. Like you should be able to maybe inquire about it, but nothing else to my mind. So. I need to do this. What first of all we're gonna have a handle for it. And for the moment I need pro define handle casts from the human name. Let's render graph job. Uh the object name is this. And this is the handle type. Okay. So what I want to do is, rather than pass in this fully fledged struct as it is, I want to, so we have these things, and then we have, okay, name, job name, the, whether it's required. And the function, ooh, this is run function.
and get rid of this. And then what's going to happen is instead of that, it's going to return out the handle of the job. So then you can use that in, let's say, the render graph resource type instead. I do not like that function. That's way too big. I'll have to fix that after this. Process is, yeah, that. So this will allow me to basically privatize, put this on the source side instead. So, and what's wrong with you? Oh. Semicolon. So having a look at... the source side of things. We have these. I'll probably actually want to change this up for a struct. Later though. Get rid of that. Okay. So in order to do this. Um, okay, I can actually probably change this to be like a unique pointer as well. Since I'm going to be doing it, managing it fully internally, which I should have been doing in the first place, really. Memory. Okay. We're not doing that anymore. I need to do all this, then I need to release it here. job I should say that is equaling render graph job to handle that yeah uh, this is expecting that no it's Expecting this okay, render graph relationship can if it's just internal, which it is, should just be the render graph job. So P new job dot get. Okay. And then I need to actually fill in this stuff. P new job. That's what we want. Um, Okay. 
Now I gotta go through all the jobs and make modifications for that. So coming all the way down here, resources in, resources out. So graphics render graph job. Okay, uh yeah, it's a number of things. Then that it's the Name, false, and the function. Okay. So I don't have to make this anymore here, which is good. Which I should be able to remove. There, a little bit of simplification. Mm -hmm. Don't take that anymore. And then I have to pass that through to these guys. Which should now become, while we're at it, that. It's no longer a pointer. It's a handle. Okay. Let's make sure, is there anything else down here I'm doing with this? Yes. This is now, I need to, what, render job from handle to the pointer type. Like that. Okay. So I'm still going to have some output, but it's a much more useful output than, than the resources. I mean, this uh, job, I mean, do I want to return it for anything? I would still want to return it, wouldn't I? Well, would I? Like, is there any, re is there any conceivable reason? Would I want to... Is there any reason I would want to schedule a certain task for after this job? Right? Because it'd be a standalone job. It has... Nothing would depend on it for any resources. Is there any, like, computational stuff? I wouldn't think so. I don't think so. For the moment, I'll just leave it like this. I'm not going to return this job. Uh, data. Okay, I got rid of that. I need to pass in the name. I need to pass in whether it's required, which I don't think it is. Or it is because it's returning stuff. Name, uh, false job function. Uh, 
And I need to, let's see. No. Presentation is a required one, right? Uh, present image, right? False. Oh, this first one is false, but the second one is true. Yeah. Because this is just importing the swap chain image. It's not returning it. Not yet, anyways. false then the job handle which I then use here Returning just a single handle for the job is way cleaner. That's prone to errors. This is required. I should probably move this type as well. going to have some stuff going on. This didn't happen correctly either. It's probably allocating some stuff on the uh, heap, so I need to move it so it doesn't actually make a copy of stuff. Since it's being um, value, uh, passed by value or whatever, like this, rather than by reference or anything else. So it'll be making copies of um, something, probably somewhere. So it's piece source image, image and layout. These things, it'll probably make copies of this on the heap, which will be an allocation that I then don't want to make another copy of when I pass it by value to through here. So I'd rather just move that stuff and be done with it. Which would mean I want to do the same thing here, actually, as well. Which means that needs to be an and and reference for move reference, right? Yeah, yeah, it would. Um, Okay, I was down on present image. Yes. So I'll move that. Resolve. <clears throat> Name false. Execute function. Okay.
down to this. This is not a required. Nope. And that, that, that. Okay. Uh, proceed with job. this swap chain is importing or presenting just importing so it's a false the job function oh what's this it's not it's job name Change this up a little bit. Swap this uh, be the same as everywhere else. This is actually a required job. Okay. Not sure why. I mean, it's because I don't actually have the present inside of the render graph. That might be. Finally, here. job we got the name it's a false it's only rendering passing that through provider okay Give this a go. Okay. So a couple of minor items then. <clears throat> First of all, this can be removed from here entirely. Actually, both of these can be. No longer need to be public. In fact, shouldn't be. I can put all this in a namespace like that. Mm 
Not sure on that. Like I'm not I don't have really anything going for read only yet. <clears throat> Oh, this also needs to be Do I not have error codes here? I do have error codes. I was going to do one more thing, and I'm just trying to... Yes, I was going to rename this. That. Job function. I think that was it. Perfect. Okay, nothing jumps out as being too terrible. So, privatized. Now replaced under graph job. Publicly. Public handle type fits. The job struct type.
if data needs to be to be created. Used with the uh, render graph. Sorry, what do I not have saved? Oh, oh, I don't have anything here, that's why. Add those, please. Okay. Now, do I want to, I don't really see much point in changing this to be handled. I mean, yeah, because I'd just be returning this stuff anyways. Uh, this could be a const. This would actually be a good idea to keep as const instead. Yeah. This just means I'm going to have to have a little bit more uh, in the way of I think. No, I'll just leave it like that. No, it needs to be that. It really does, doesn't it? And this does make sense. Const, 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 const. Make sure, hold on. Do I even, I don't need these here, do I? These are gone, right? P source image, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's actually something I do need to do. I need to remove these because I now have this instead. So p dest image data. That's actually a good thing. Move a couple of items. Sorry, render graph relationships being that. That would make sense. This render graph job, render graph structure const. This data shouldn't be modified at this point anyways, or ever. Okay. Got this.
that's const structure so i should probably return that as a const as well as like just a lot of yeah hmm okay, anything going on in here nope render gra render scene doesn't appear to be anything No, we do have a couple of things. Color, depth. Okay, make sure that's actually going to work. Okay, back to this. Those are const. That's good. Now this, I mean, this is taking in const data. So let's actually also return const by default. See how much that's going to break. Maybe split this up into two, perhaps. Not. Hmm. I should really be doing this though. Tap tap. Okay. Yeah. Make sure I'm actually consting this stuff. Okay, I, wait, did I not remove these? Hmm. Can I just do this? No. Okay, let's just go through each one and make sure I'm doing what I'm thinking I'm doing. So that's that. Can't do const at this point. Sorry, not not here. Here. Make sure not doing anything in here. No. Const, 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 const. Now, this is the thing that I would like prefer from Rust to be brought in is the, the but I know it's not going to happen. Is saying like by default it, things are not mutable. 
but oh well. Import image. So that means Got anything else going on in here? What's this? Mm -hmm. Any cost issues here? No. Render graph this. So we got that should be const. We got some const stuff up here. that's going to work. Colors, two colors. Kind of thinking maybe ch splitting this graph structure up like Vulcan does to have a const and non const version and have that one be passed around perhaps. Hmm. Thank you. 
I'm not so sure on that quite yet. I mean, realistically, like, yeah, yeah, no, 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 in structure, in structure, and out structure. Because I don't want someone to get a const struct, and then they're like, oh, the thing inside of it's not const, I'm going to start touching it. And I'll kind of do something like that. So, currently, this is an in structure, okay. In structure, in structure, we'll have one for out structure. Oh, I'm not uh, I'm not going to modify it but you can modify the output of it so yeah not touching not touching you know what no 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 I'm not even gonna whoops no too far too far back I'm not even gonna don't save I don't have enough I'm I don't have enough context on how it's going to be used best not yet okay um otherwise this is uh, the delete resource call that's kind of the big thing and I probably want to change this to a struct is there I mean, there is an easy way to deal with this, but I don't really feel like doing it yet. Because I'm afraid if I do that, if I if I basically get rid of this, then okay. Yeah, I don't know about this yet. I do not know. Anything else in here? I mean, the rest of this is pretty much reduced quite a bit. This, yeah. Not really great having that up front like that. Okay, so there's one more uh, little thing I can probably do. Just thought about it. Render graph. Uh, the delete resource data call. I can probably make that a bit more generic. It doesn't have, because right now it's only working on the uh, graph struct. Okay, there's two little things I can do. I replace that so it says render graph structure. Across everything. So that's one thing actually. of the name. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the, whoops, turn that off. The delete re resource data call, it really doesn't have to be uh, resource specific. It could just, and it doesn't have to operate on a, st on a structure. Like I can probably redo one, so it's like, you know, for graphics VK, render graph, free call, call free. Data free. Data free call. Um, okay, I'll just call it that for now. But I don't want to have to, I don't want it to be limited to just this. I want to actually say, you know, uh, it takes in void star, just any old data. It can take in any old data. And it has just a very generic, you know, void star p free call free function. And it just takes in that. It's simple. Simpler than that. There is no risk of extra stuff going into 
Hmm. Can that work? I mean, I could just do like a void like that and just grab the data in. Hmm. So then I wouldn't even need this at all, would I? Hmm, that might work. Actually, yeah, I'll do that. So, standard function, void, blah, 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 like that. Okay, multiple or one? If I just have it generic like this, I might... Hmm... I'll do it this way for, for now, with only one. We'll, we'll kind of uh, bring it down to that. So what I want to do is render graph. Nope, this. So we have one, we're gonna swap this down to this, and it's not that, free data call. The allocate call, free data call. I'm not. Hmm. Okay, we just need to add the one. If free data call, if it has something, then put it on. If it doesn't, then don't stand to move mm -hmm. we go up to here um Call data. Just go through all of them, I guess, like that. Okay, and then we just do the same thing on the source side. We have to change these up. Wherever they are down here. Uh, right. Free data function equals this to that equals. I want to delete that. I don't. There's nothing there. So what was the um, thing I'm deleting? This, right? Yeah. Free data function. I'll standard move it. If we don't put that on, then free data function fires right here. Uh, from function to function void star. Is it a star? I don't remember it having to be a star. Mm-hmm. Okay, resolved. 
And I just got to do this everywhere else. With the job function, we have... Would this work? Null pointer? Just I'm not passing anything through. Present image. I guess. Okay, that works. Up here we have two functions. I don't want two functions. Mm -hmm. Can I get this please? Equals, let's clear that out. So we don't have anything here. So we're deleting p imported image. And then we want to delete. P image state. Close that up. Ooh, I can't standard move it because if I don't succeed, then, ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. Not great. Because then I still need to be able to call it afterwards, and I can't, I can't move it. I have to keep the data around just in case. So it would have to be copied on the heap. I presume, which isn't great. All right, limitation, unfortunate, got to deal with it. We got that, we got, you know, the, this. I just need to copy this whole thing. <sighs> okay, delete. These guys, we want to equal delete p swap chain image, delete p image, delete p image state. Passing this through to here. One failure to do that, okay. Do we have, we don't have anything here. Resolving the image. We're just deleting this. Is there anything we do? Yes, we do have something. Come on.
So that's that one, XR. Anything here? Yes. Deleting the swap chain, deleting that, and deleting the image state. Anything on the render graph? Yep. So we're deleting these two items, are we? Okay. Appear to be good. I have VR up. Let's just double check that that thing's awake. Yes, it is. In VR? Yep, it's in VR too. Okay, let's do that. Let's. Um since I was doing memory stuff, let me double check. Um, do I have? I have Azure Sanitizer on, so if I go back here, I go build flow engine. Do 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 do. This all happens very nicely. Alright, uh, let's check for memory stuff, what's going on, anything, oh no, control, okay, open XR, is this my stuff, under modules, okay, this is my stuff, Unknown modules. Okay, so they're not even in my areas. 320 bytes. Okay, is there something else of mine I'm going to deal with? Okay, I, there's a lot of stuff. I need to... Okay, if I was... To T turn off X, uh, XR, because I'm going to bet that's where a lot of this is coming from. Okay, uh, clear. And actually, let me open up a new... Uh, oh, engine, okay. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Got that stuff, it's great. We exit out and we got a whole bunch of. Yeah, it's a bit too big. Okay. So we have some stuff. It's from LibXCB, it's 8 kilobytes. But. YAML importer, graphics shader. YAML stuff. So nothing I'm doing, but just a little bit XCB. What's with that? Is it like growing? It is growing. 
um, in malloc inside my own thing from here something okay something I have to do with some other time but the new delete free function is here it is working mostly as expected Let me close others can I give this a different name, please? I need a, I need a different name for this. Type F that to for graphics. Okay. Dialog function. I think I'll call it something like that. <sighs> I mean, it's a function that's void, doesn't return anything, and that. This is kind of not the same at all. I'll just call it that for now. Um, do that but we'll have to do it only in a few locations we got not there here that's got space we need to add space this one hmm Okay, that one, that one, okay, I'll do that in a moment, that, that, and that, and that one, and this one, okay. So free data call. Free data function. Render graph. Okay, I'll call it good on that one. Placed, what was it called? Desired. Through lambda ability capabilities. Okay. 
through lambdas. Okay, I'll call it there. Good for today. All right? Cheers.